Hello, everyone. I would like to welcome you all to the 19th conversation hour by DCW, that is Deoban Community Wikimedia. And this is a monthly conversation hour and an initiative by DCW, which is an affiliate of Wikimedia Foundation that aims at improving Wikipedia with knowledge and information not only related to the global Muslim academia, history and culture and more in different languages. So I would like to introduce our guest for today, Ms. Runa. Um, I would like to tell a little about uh, Runa. So uh, our guest Runa Patachaji serves as the Senior Director of Product Languages and Content Growth at the Wikimedia Foundation she has been working on various things related to localization since 2001. At the Wikimedia Foundation, she supports the operations of languages and product localization, community tech, and structured content. Um, actually, there's a lot to tell about Runa. I went through your profile, and I think I won't be able to do justice to um, all that you are doing and to put it in just few words. So I would like to give this mic to Runa now. Uh, yes, Runa, you may start. Thank you, Ariba. It's very kind of you to introduce me and also to invite me over. I'm really very thrilled about it. I've heard a lot about the DCW conversations. I haven't been part of any conversations before, but I have seen the blog post and I've been speaking with Api regularly on and off. So it's a real pleasure to be here uh, in in uh, in one of the actual sessions. It's really very, uh, very exciting and I'm looking forward to the conversation. Um, so thank you so much for inviting me. I'm unable to look at the chat. And so if there is anything that I need to like, you know, just address or um, uh, respond to before uh, starting off the conversation, maybe I, I could just take a look over there or if you could just read, read your hand. Um, so maybe yeah, just I'd like to uh, tell one more thing that this meeting is being recorded. So whoever wants to keep their camera off, they can. And there is going to be a question and answer se session at the end of the presentation. Ms. Runa is going to present. And there we can uh, take your questions and I can read them out from the chat box for you if you want. Okay. Yeah, sure. We can begin now. Great. Thank you so much. So I have a small presentation about the topic today, which is about the community wish list. And um, I hope to finish the uh, presentation part in about 20, 20, 25 minutes. And um, after that, let's keep it open for the discussion for as long as we need it for the rest of the session. So um, let's begin then quickly. So um, Ariba already responded to, uh, sorry, uh, <laughs> introduced me. So I'll just skip that part um, and I'll move it onwards to the next part. So this is about the session today, which is about the community wish list, exploring the community wish list. And as Ariba mentioned, um, one of the teams I support inside the Wikimedia Foundation is the community tech team. If you haven't heard about the community tech team, it's a very uh, special team inside the product and technology department of the Wikimedia Foundation, and they conduct primarily something called the community wish list. So it's a very uh, special team because there is a huge engagement part uh, of tech or uh, rather a technical engagement part, which is the community wish list. Plus we have software engineering work, which also happens within this team. So. Uh, I'll tell you a little bit about the community wish list today in the session, uh, some background about the, you know, how it came about, the work we do as part of the community tech team and the community wish list and the changes that we have been uh, doing over, uh, for the last one and a half years about the community wish list. So um, the community wish list has been running for nearly six years in a certain format. And we realized that um, due to the growing needs of users and the complexities, the technical complexities that we have been seeing, we do need a reboot. And uh, we began began this process sometime last year. And since then, uh, what we have been calling the future of the wish list has been this new model that we have been uh, formulating and it went live on 15th of July this month. So uh, we are talking just over 10 days after the launch of the new format of the community wish list, which is a continuous intake system and uh, we will have some more improvements. So uh, in this session, I'm just gonna tell you about how this process is going to work and a little bit of the history and also how you can participate in this process going forward. 
So um, the main motivation for uh, having a system like the community wish list is the general, um, you know, the sentiment and the ideology that we have in the inside the Wikimedia projects in the Wikimedia movement that is like a thriving healthy community that participates together we are in this together and this is a responsibility that we all have towards each other on how to partner and make the maintain and grow the software because our uh, movement has a huge dependence on the software that we run on the projects and our movement is centered around all the platforms that we do. So all, all the events that the communities put together is a whole lot of effort that goes within the uh, on-ground activities. And then of course, there's the platforms which have to be very uh, well maintained and serve the purpose of the communities as the big knowledge for everybody. So um, today we'll connect the dots about several things. So although we are talking about the community wish list over here, which is one part of the process, but there are so many other parts where when we are within a community in whatever role that we are playing, there are seven pieces to it that comes together when we are uh, talking about, like, you know, we're looking from our perspectives towards the platform that we are uh, using every day, and we will try and connect the dots. So this visual that you see over here, it's the new um, headline image that we have for the community wish list. So if you go to the meta page for the community wish list, we will see this image. Um, it was recently launched. And so when I say connecting the dots over here, this is where I start to put a little bit of context for us to like, you know, start looking at what our um, <clears throat> uh, per perspectives are and how they come blend over here. And these are just a few things I'm sure when we are talking more about like, you know, the this amalgamation of the technical space and uh, the different things that we do over here in, inside the movement over here, there are more things that will keep popping up. So in this case, I just uh, highlighted a few things like, the main main encyclopedic content that we are always continuously growing and supporting and participating, dispersing in, in several formats. The languages and the people that we bring together is all of this is a huge human effort and we all come from different societies, we come from different parts of the world, from different linguistic backgrounds and language is the main thing that we are riding on and how we are participating in, in many ways. Of course, the software, because that's what the whole thing has a uh, huge dependency on. Processes, the communities have different processes that we kind of connect over here. The rules, the policies that go into making this platform thrive, continuously evolve and uh, make it a safe space for people to come and participate. And of course, like, you know, things like devices, people are always uh, uh, trying to understand what is a good way to participate. Some people are doing it via the, uh, the desktop, particularly, which was the primary mode of contributions and dispersal of uh, in, uh, knowledge and interactions on the networks, on the internet earlier. And then you have the devices these days, which are the mobile phones, which have or the mobile devices that have become hugely prominent in how we uh, intersect with our lives. So we just try and continue building on this theme as well. So uh, before we go a little bit deeper into the uh, specifics of the community wish list. So the, here's a short history of the community wish list. So if you didn't know, the community wish list is uh, was actually a survey that used to run every year, once a year. It was an annual survey, and during that period, what used to happen is we used to have a form uh, on MetaWiki where people could come and submit a technical request that they would like. Uh, a uh, a software development team to take a look at. And this was primarily um, responded to by the community tech team and sometimes by uh, some other product and tech teams. And of course, like uh, uh, since the time it was first run in 2015 till now, which is like nine years later in 2024, even the uh, Wikimedia Foundation's product and tech team has changed significantly in different different ways. The teams have, have different focuses. They have... Uh, uh, come together for different, uh, like, you know, in different formats, different configurations, different uh, focus focus uh, of skills and uh, people and sizing. And then, of course, within the movement as, as well, there are so many other groups that have uh, interest in technical work. So since the time it was first run to where it is now, the, the environment has also changed within which the community was run. So um, 
anyways, when it first started, uh, since uh, and onwards till uh, 2023, when it was last run, uh, it ran once a year, sometime in the November to January time frame, and um, people could come and submit technical requests at that point of time and after that there used to be quite a bit of discussion some ranking voting and a whole lot of leaderboards etc etc essentially a whole lot of prioritization and the prioritization process changed uh quite a few times but eventually the bottom line was there was this leaderboard of top 10 wishes that was uh formulated through different means and then the community tech team would start working on it and of course like when you're talking about the top 10 wishes it's not necessarily just the ones with highest worth because there was a whole lot of other things in consideration as well like is it something that can be done meaningfully is this like a request that is a technical request because of because people would also submit wishes which would not necessarily technical wishes but would also be like related to policy etc or they would be too large like it was impossible uh considering the not just the uh, group that was directly involved with but also maybe the platform was not ready to make certain changes like one of the examples that i can give is the dark mode that has recently been launched and it was like a continuously high ranking wish for a couple of years already but it was not possible to make the dark web um, uh, changes in in within this uh, ambit of the community wish list and it needed much bigger planning a much more dedicated team that was specially skilled to work on the product areas which related to the uh, to the direct changes and so eventually the wikimedia foundation's web team took that up and they did it in a very focused manner for the last uh, one year a little over one year to complete the process and it was uh, finally done so the because of the media wiki platform also a whole lot of specialized um uh yeah uh, like you know uh, things need to be taken into account when making some decisions but 2023 was the last time we ran the uh, the community wish list in this format and then we stopped it uh and came into this format of the future of the wish list that, that let's make this uh, a very different format than what it was because we need to meet the continuous changes that is happening around this and one of the primary things we did was uh, or rather two primary things that we did was we changed the format of the form earlier it used to be a template that people could only submit as in the edit uh, not in the visual mode but in the wiki text mode and also it was once a year and we have now made it a continuous intake form so anytime that someone thinks there is a technical request that they would like to make they can just go to that uh, uh, meta wiki page click on the form uh sorry the, click on the submit button open the form and uh submit the wish that they would like to uh, talk about and it will be like continuously triaged we will be having discussions about that and then on this. so moving on here's a quick view on the last wish list that we ran survey that we ran in 20 we used to call it the community wish list survey at that time now we are just calling it the wish list because it's not a annual survey and it's just a system for um uh you know intake of uh, requests so at that point of time uh during that last wish list survey that ran uh, we had 1300 people who had submitted uh technical wishes um mostly from wikipedia english wikipedia primarily commons and wiki source um wish submissions were 272 and approved wishes 188 and uh, and one thing to note is a whole lot of uh, wishes that were archived were actually non-technical proposals as I just mentioned to you or were very large in scope for the community wish listing to actually so um and then of course how many things were completed 30 uh, of the 34 21 were completed 13 are still in progress at different stages of development um, these were some of the highlight pieces that uh, at that point of time we still had the voting of each wish and which team participated and this one is I uh, just wanted to also highlight that when you see the right hand column over here which says teams participating you would see that not everything is done by the community tech team. Some of these things are done by a web uh, another team like the web team did something or the editing team uh, did something and then you will have individual names over here as well. So there are people individually even like uh, volunteers who are not WMF staff who are participating in these um, res uh, technical resolution. Um, 
so there were a few things um in the old wish list survey that were particularly uh you know uh needed a bit of a assessment and, and we considered them challenges so um when we were deciding about the format of the new uh, or rather the new format of the wish list intake system these were things that were primarily like you know very much uh, front and center of what we were trying to do so one of the things is that contributor participation was very still very limited because uh, we did see that people who particularly spoke English or were familiar with meta wiki or new wiki text because the survey form was like you know not visual it was in wiki text uh, these were things that were uh, in some ways uh, challenging that, that kind of like did not have a very low uh, you know threshold in terms of entry point and also it was open two weeks a year so if, even if people wanted to submit something like you know um, sometime let's say in the in July or August of a particular year they had to wait for another another uh, two months before the survey opened and then uh, like you know overcome the barriers of understanding where exactly it's happening to completely participate so those were things um, that we identified as probable reasons for lesser participation and also it was uh, kind of like I would say a bit of a bolder design in terms of how an intake process would work. So it all comes together that this was probably an area that need an, needed an immediate change. Then uh, the wish list was not directly part of the annual planning process because of the timings and the way the whole uh, thing was like, you know, planned, the chunks of work that we saw it. The, so the annual planning of the Wikimedia Foundation happened sometime from January to about June. So we take a very long time to, especially for the technical work, we do take a little bit of time to assess what exactly are the priorities, how how should we put it all together, understanding the focus, et cetera, et cetera. So um, uh, the, the financial year of the foundation is from 1st of July of each year to 30th of June. So that's the period of an annual uh, financial year and by the time it's 1st of July we need to make sure that the annual plan that we have uh, you know had a lot of plan uh, like you know work around background work and then uh, community consultations on and all lot of other things that need to finalize that have been completed by the time you're hitting 1st of July and then you're onwards from there. So um, when the wish list was open uh, during the years it did not align and also like so uh, the work that was coming uh, like crystallizing through that uh, and uh, wish list surveys evaluation process it didn't map directly over there very well so this is something that we wanted to fix and i think we have been able to fix that in this year's annual planning cycle and i'll come to that in a minute also uh, we wanted to make sure that there was uh, you know or rather we identified that uh, there was limited participation even from the technical com com community within the movement, whether they are from affiliates or whether they are individual participants or like, you know, uh, uh, smaller groups like user groups, etc. So uh, when you have to uh, think about like, you know, uh, what are the technical challenges that you'd like to prioritize or you'd like to build around uh, or build up from, it's always helpful to have like more people gathering around or trusting the uh, you know power through that system or even like understanding some part of, uh, like uh, priorities from uh, a perspective that's impacting people directly in a in a different form so like for instance one of the things that um, we have been hearing is uh, smaller uh, user groups technical uh, user groups in different parts of uh, the world would like to participate in more organized ways and that was a very immediate thing that we kind of wanted to connect into because we do have bigger affiliates that like the Wikimedia Deutschland working on technical wishes, but then we don't really have another similar systems that we can connect into and uh, let's say, uh, you know, uh, have a bigger system of uh, working around the community's needs, things that are coming to the top from a system like the wishlist system. So, um, and also like a spread of projects because uh, most of the wishes that we saw were coming in from uh, participants of Wikipedia or um, uh, comments or wiki data, but not necessarily from a few others. So I remember a couple of years back, one of the wish list surveys were dedicated specifically towards wiki source. But these are things that we can, uh, we don't really, uh, cannot scale up if we are still doing it in a one, one, once a year. So 
So anyways, these, these are probably a bit <laughs> deeper in the context, but I just wanted to like highlight this. Um, and now onwards from here, how might we let the, you know, the thriving part of this uh, engagement continue onwards in a way that's helpful to everybody. So um, this is a goal that we have actually stated publicly around the uh, improvement of the wish list that we have uh, put up uh, when we were putting together the plans for the future of the wish list. And this is also part of our annual plan. So the three things that we really wanted to focus on when we talk, started talking about it, and I did a presentation about this last year at Wikimania Singapore, uh, was to make the intake system more accessible. So we immediately addressed the challenge of like, you know, low participation from people and make the access, uh, make it much more accessible to people. Secondly, we make the connection between the wish list uh, requests coming through. So the voices from the community just get more amplified into the annual planning system because that's a very focused area where people are planning their work, the engineers who can be directly impacted, uh, like rather who can impact the, um, the requests can take a look at things and have a very planned way of implementing things. And then the third thing is like, how can we have a better collaboration space between volunteer developers, other technical groups, both, both organized and unorganized or semi-organized, I would say. And then um, and the rest of the product and tech department of the foundation as well. Continuing from here. So one of the things that we did last year, which was like a precursor to the actual wish new format of the wish list opening was something called the community wish along, which is kind of a um, you know a composition of the words, I would say hackathon and wishes. And this was done in March 2024. So this is actually um extension of something that the community tech team and several other teams inside the foundation do. They often take a little bit break from the planned activity and uh take a week off to just work on something that is uh, like maybe not directly in the planned activity or it could even be that planned activity you just want to uh, like you know dedicate some time um, for the engineers inviting other engineers as well to come through and just work on some things like on either in a very focused uh, on a very focused theme or something that will just you know get you uh, moving a little faster than usual. So um, the community tech team every uh, three months uh, organizes something called a wishathon where they also invite other engineers from other teams to come take a look at all the wishes. Some of them are maybe not in the priority list, but they are very good to have or like they can be quickly resolved. Let's all take a look at things. And so uh, that's a gathering. Several other teams have similar hackathons of things that have been either not planned or have been waiting for a while or something that could just accelerate the whole, uh, you know, uh, improve uh, things for everybody in some, uh, some corner of the software. These things are done. And so uh, we extended this last uh, March to uh, outside the team as well, as in like outside the foundation teams. And we called it the Community Wishathon. And um, we organized this in a, as a global event for a week. And several people participated either as individual technical volunteers or as groups. So one of the bigger groups that participated was the uh, group from uh, the, uh, Congo. And it was a user group. Uh, it's rather a user group, a very thriving technical community that participated. And it was, uh, I would say, a pretty successful event. It was not uh, hugely attended. I mean, you didn't have like 400 people coming through, but at least the uh, 20, 30 people who came and participated along with the rest of the foundation engineers. It was like a very meaningful um, uh, meaningful gathering. And we hope to have more of these going forward, which directly connects into that, uh, into that third item that I mentioned to you about uh, improving the technical collaboration around the world. So uh, just some quick comparative uh, information for you from the current wish, wish as, the, as it currently stands. Since it opened on 15th of July, the last time I counted uh, when I was writing this slide was that we had more than 60 wish submissions and a few of them have been archived. That's like they are probably not something we can do much about and they have uh, they have been archived, so five of them have been archived. And there are two things that I want to highlight that are coming soon. So this is, as I said, this has just been launched. The form is active. People can submit wishes. They can discuss about stuff. But there are two things that we would like to, uh, you know, um, build on for uh, the improvements, the 
general improvements that I mentioned. One is we are calling something focus areas, which would be like improved grouping and uh, clustering of wishes in a way that can uh, have a more thematic, um, you know, thematic grouping of certain software changes that we would like uh, to put together through uh, from the requests that have come through. And that would help us connect better to planned activities in, in ways that, you know, more teams can participate in the process. Maybe it's like better connected to the annual plans and goals, et cetera. And, uh, but this is just one part of it. And uh, the other thing that we are uh, like uh, adding over here is the automatic translation of wishes. And this for this, we are using machine translation that we already use in several things like translation services. So what we expect to uh, expect to offer over here is when someone submits a wish in any language that they uh, want to uh, submit a wish in, there'll be a mechanism for you to like, you know, click a button and have that translated in a language that you would like to be able to read in and onwards from there uh, but of course uh, as as any other Met meta wiki page we also have the facility for this to be translated manually earlier also wishes used to be translated but if a manual translated or human translated version is not available you can always use automatic translation to just read the wish and participate in the discussions so uh, and for that we'll uh, use the uh, Mint machine translation system primarily, which is the one that we maintain uh, with open source uh, translation models that the foundation maintains directly. Um, let's go onwards from here. And one caveat, of course, if, if, uh, so if the models and the machine translation system does not offer a certain language, of course, we can't uh, show it with the automatic translation, uh, translation services. It will be limited to whatever the translation service offers. So let's make it onwards from here. So this is an uh, this is a screenshot of the form that you would have. The form itself is translated. The UI message is sort of translated on translatewiki.net, and it's always open. It's a multilingual form. It's much friend friendlier for the users. And of course, the focus is that let's try and submit problems as opposed to solutions. Sometimes that is often like a balance that we have to strike. That are we submitting? a proposal in terms of a problem that we are trying to solve or a solution that uh, and sometimes it becomes a little bit difficult to assess that what exactly is the underlying problem and so we we'll, we are trying to reverse the uh, format or, or I won't say reverse but rather adapt the format in a way where people find it more easy to uh, tell us more about the problem that they are uh, facing and let's see if uh, you know how to how to connect it better to the entire um, solution space. Um, as I mentioned, focus areas, focus areas improved, uh, you know, uh, uh, collection of uh, of the requests that are coming through. So wishes are more granular in uh, nature by definition. Um, and sometimes, of course, wishes are written in a big way and it could actually be a focus area all by itself. But then we would like to make a better assessment of that. So uh, there are some criteria we have put together, like if three plus wishes are of a same uh, nature of a product or different versions of the same thing, or even like, you know, they touch upon different things that can be solved as a, in, a, in a group, we could call them as a focus area. And then even like focus areas can come together. So it's it's a, it's a matter of continuous engagement and triaging of those uh, requests that we will need to ensure that we have a better way of defining what exactly is the need that we need to give. Um, and we would like the wishlist participants to vote on the focus areas because that would be like more helpful for us to like also make use of the resources, make use of the people who are participating in the process and um, make more um, things more, um, I would say the, uh, I mean, it's an overuse of the word focus. I don't want to go into that, but essentially if you're trying to like talk about something in a bigger scope, then it just helps it easier to put it in a focus area. And of course, like it's easier for people to like con uh, connect together um, in in dif from different perspectives. Let's say three people have provided like a request, which all connect into one one theme. Then it's easier for everyone to talk to each other and understand if those things are affecting 
each other and can they all depend on each other and how to build a solution collectively. So anyway, these are probably like, you know, once that we start seeing how the focus areas are shaping up, it will be easier to understand what they look like and how we might we might need to tweak it as we go forward. It's all a comparatively linear system. And uh, this is an example of a focus area related to templates. So try to put together a few templates and uh, these focus areas, as I mentioned, like onwards into the annual plan, they will be better to like connect into those annual plan uh, themes as well. So there's an example over here, which is very helpfully given by Jack, who is uh, Jack Wheeler, who is uh, the community tech manager for the India Foundation. And he actually did a presentation, I think last weekend for the South Asia Regional Call. And uh, this was an example that he's using that if you make it easier for people to find and insert templates, then we can increase the usage of templates from certain number to certain number. And maybe there are like five different requests related to templates that kind of connect into this thing. So how do we put that uh, in a more uh, thematic focus? And this is a very specific example of an annual plan for this, this current year, that is the 24-25 financial year that we have put together. It's mentioned on MetaWiki page as well for uh, the annual plan where, where it is like we specifically mentioned that we would like to uh, identify a few things to go into the uh, uh, into from the wish list backlog into the annual plan focus activities. So we do have a few things for moderation work that are part of the main um, annual plan uh, objectives. And then we would like to participate, uh, like, you know, have very uh, specific engagement opportunities that we would like to create for with volunteers to identify three areas that we would like to work together on. This is over and above anything else that is naturally aligning and coming together um, and or even like, you know, connecting in a natural way. So we'll just see how all of that come together and um, then uh, by, by ourselves, that's, that is the uh, foundation's product and tech teams, including the community tech team, we would want to make sure that we have completed at least 10 small issues. So all of that is there in the annual plan this year already. And then onwards from here, we keep building further. Um, so these were some key dates. So July 15th, 2024 was the date that we would open the community wish list that has already been opened. During Wikimania, we would start with the first round of focus areas. That is like from everything that's come in, what is what are the focus areas that are surfacing that we would like to put out uh, on August 6th when Wikimania is on. So hopefully there'll be some um, on-ground conversations as well about it. And then by the end of Q1, which is 30th September, 2024, we would ensure that two focus areas have been adopted and also machine translation, the automatic translation of wishes, as I mentioned earlier, would be, would go live. So by that time, people can start having that uh, feature as well. And uh, next year onwards, which is the next year's annual plan, as I mentioned, that the annual planning usually starts in the January, February timeframe. Uh, we will start having, uh, like you know, the focus areas which have been identified start going into the annual plan in a in a systematic manner so that more product and tech teams can participate in the process uh, in in more depth. Um, this is how your participation now comes, uh, you know, becomes more visible. If you've already participated in the wish list survey process of the earlier time, you probably already know this. But then going forward, um. If you haven't, or you'd like to just continue, uh, like you know, participating, then this is where you, uh, this these are all the things that you can totally do, and we would reach out to you at any point of time, like you know, if you'd like to know more about it, you can submit wishes, you can help others submit wishes, like people from your community who who are probably a little bit unsure how to do that. Or you can even talk about within your community on some of the common technical needs that is happening. So you might want to like put it together in a way that is, uh, you know, just um, instead of uh, like three people trying to struggle and understand how to submit wishes, you can have a discussion within your community and say, okay, these are the issues that you're having. How do we put it together and submit as a as a uh, uh, you know as a wish for on behalf of the of the community? So those are things that you could totally do. And then of course you can once uh, wishes have been submitted either by you or by someone else, you can go go and participate in those discussions. People may want to know more about what those wishes are about. Does it connect into something that I'm also struggling with? So these are things that often surface during the discussions, um, on wiki discussions. You can totally participate in those. And of course, if you are 
are technically inclined, would like to participate in solving of these challenges, please, you know, uh, come come join us over there and be happy to like, you know, help you to help you understand how the code bases work, the, how the developers are working, how, uh, you know, generally we build software um, around these features and requests or even new things. And we would lo love to, uh, you know, help you uh, uh, participate in this process join a wish if you would like would like to not do it uh, all the time or and you'd like to put some time aside so i think these are the broad things uh related to participation and that's about it i think i took more than 25 minutes i'm very sorry about that so i'll just stop here and um pass it back to i guess Ariba. um yeah no, I was just too, <laughs> I was just listening to you and I was quite, um, you know, struck at that moment. Yeah. Hello, everyone. So we are done with the presentation. If you have any questions, you can put in the chat box or you could just uh, simply turn on your mic and ask. I think uh, Suyash has raised his hand. Uh, you can turn on your mic, uh, ask the question or you could, if you want, you could just put your question in the chat box. Uh, thank you, Runaji, for uh, this wonderful presentation. And uh, uh, this is actually my first, uh, you know, first participation in DCW, uh, uh, this call, such call. And uh, one thing I wanted to share with you, like um, the main challenges uh, with the, which uh, the editor community is facing is that uh, Basically, they are uh, the persons who are really facing the ch technical challenges, but unfortunately, do, they are not aware about how to address this or maybe how to put a request on that. So uh, here is a suggestion that uh, it would be great if we can conduct small workshop uh, along with different communities so that they can understand that uh, there are challenges uh, uh, especially for the editors uh, community, there are challenges can be overcome with uh, making such uh, technical uh, uh, wishes. And uh, a second thing I would also like to know that, um, as you know, that Indians uh, are well, well known across the world about their software intelligence, but I don't know how how many requests are being made from this region, or maybe if you have any any kind of you know data where we can find that. Uh, this particular region is uh, asking for more uh, technical support so that we so that we can work on with the community as well just to educate them thank you yeah i think you see so. you're in mind both first participation in the dcw conversation um so in terms of the editor communities uh, like you know work, work having workshops so um I don't know how feasible it would be for us to, uh, you know, um, go and participate in each of the uh, each of the communities' events or forums. But of course, like there are enough communications going out regularly, uh, both on Div as well as on Wiki. And I think we didn't do mass messages, but at least we have things going out in, in the newsletters. And also these kind of interactions are spaces that we would like to leverage a lot. Um, then the team, several people from the team will also be at Wikimania and we would like to like, you know, uh, ensure that people have uh, connected with us. There's going to be a booth at Wikimania where people can come and participate. So I think uh, it will not be a one-time job, but it'll be a continuous job on how to keep the engagement up. But we would totally be, um, you know, grateful if uh, during the regional calls or these kind of calls, the people from different editor communities who are coming into these spaces are also taking it back to their communities. And I put the link to the MetaWiki page on screen right now that you can go and take a look over there and uh, the submit button, et cetera, et cetera. Everything is available over there. It's a much simpler format, but yes, I'll definitely take it back and see, uh, talk with our uh, colleagues in movement communications and how we can um, maybe add uh, like do more than what we are doing right now and see if there are some very deliberate into, uh, like you know connections we can make with some of the editor communities and see how we can continue um, growing in that scaling up over there and uh, the next thing is about the technical request from this region um i don't have any handy numbers in terms of like 
uh, particularly from this region, how many wishes are coming through a technical request. But there are um, some, uh, you know, given whichever re region it is from, there are also like several things which are a bit special. Like for instance, um, uh, over here, the Indic Media Wiki users group that quite a few people, uh, you know, uh, it's a very active uh, user group and quite a few people actually are uh, working with several um, software uh, developers in the foundation about different te technical challenges that they are seeing as individual developers or as part of like the communities that they are part of. Um, and uh, it's it's actually coming together. We are also like participating um, working with them to have them participate more in those collaboration spaces. But uh, I don't have any handy number in terms of requests. But one of the things that I remember, like, you know, several people we spoke during the Wiki Conference India is that how could we, like, how could we make it a more engaging space where they are also talking with their respective communities or with the editor communities in India to maybe form, like, a, a better intake system or do some workshops or do some, pre, uh, like, you know, um, I won't say workshops, but more like um, how can they provide more uh, resources for individual communities to understand how they can like, you know, vocalize their uh, technical requirements uh, that can continue to be cascaded or escalated in, in, uh, through the system towards resolution. Because um, one of the primary spaces where technical requests come through is Fabricator, which is the issue tra tracking system for the for all our software uh, development work. But we uh, we know that several um, members in the editor communities, they are not familiar with Fabricator or they prefer to have their uh, you know requests sent through the MetaWiki page or MediaWikipedia.org uh, pages or Village Pumps, et cetera. So uh, the community wish list is, as I said, it's not on Fabricator, it's on, on a wiki. So that's how you can connect um, things in a way that the editor communities, uh, the participants in the editor communities can actually come and have a lower, um, uh, you know, lower entry barrier into the conversation space. Yeah, and then sorry take to it interrupt you, Runa. Uh, Mr. Soyesh is asking, Fabricator is really tricky, even for seasoned Wikimedians. Right? Yeah. Okay. okay. Exactly. That's... Exactly. And that's also, it's, uh, it's also uh, like, you know, um, there are a whole lot of uh, conversations going over there in terms of details of like the developers exchanging notes over there. So that may or may not always be super appealing. But anyways, uh, I do think that this is something that we would love to talk more about as we go forward with the, you know, how to um, get the technical collaboration spaces much more, uh, you know, spoke out. Thank you. Um, so if there are any other questions, you can put in the chat box. I can read out for you. Uh, I'm really sorry. I am actually I am not uh, very much uh, comfortable with this kind of awkward silences. So, uh, so my next question is like uh, just for the curiosity, like uh, there are uh, so many um, good tools are available, and uh, uh, so whether this uh, technical wish list can also cater. Uh, any improvement on existing tools or uh, even for the bug reportings or maybe a uh, major changes or major uh, you know uh, any specific requirement in the existing tools uh, can we also uh, request for uh, such kind of uh, technical um, amendments thank you yes of course of course that's that's how it has always been um, there's another question uh, from Afi. What's the logic behind name wishes? He's curious to know that. I don't know this, Afi, because uh, I, I have always known this as wishes. And I think it was uh, uh, at some point 
may be just the best name that took over. I am totally guess working here. I really don't have an answer for you, but uh, we did uh, did conduct a uh, vote a few weeks back before the launch, asking if we should keep the name as technical requests or we should keep the name wishes, etc. And I think the community just um, uh, just um, continue wanted to continue the use of the word wishes i do remember the technical wishes work that the wmde conducts they they have been calling it technical wishes and it could be that you know one led to the other so um i really don't have a very good answer for you at this time um thank you So Afi says that thanks. Hopefully in the future. Okay. Um. Are there any more questions? If you guys have any questions, you can put in the chat box. I can read them out for you. I think I can. We can wait for a minute, Runa. Okay. And if any of you are at Wikimania, please do come find us. Um, quite a few of us will be there for, uh, I don't know where exactly the location of the community wish booth will be, but I'm sure you'll find us. I guess there are no more questions. Uh, thank you, Runa, for such a simplified view and presentation, which was very engaging, of course, right? So, and for thanks to all the other participants who joined the conversation now, who took out the time, and uh, I'm looking forward to find you guys in the next conversation hour. So, thank you, everyone, again, for joining.